What's up, peers, and welcome to the World Crypto Network with the reading of the Bitcoin Optech newsletter number 13, a profound example on why you have to subscribe to this superb newsletter. September 18th, 2018. This week's newsletter includes action items related to a security release of Bitcoin Core version 0.16.3 and Bitcoin Core version 0.17 release candidate 4. A newly proposed BIP322 and Optex upcoming Paris workshop. A link to Sea Lightning version 6.1 release, more information about BIP322, and some details about the Buster Pay proposal, plus a brief descriptions of notable mergers in popular Bitcoin infrastructure projects. Action items. Upgrade to Bitcoin Core version 0.16.3 to fix a denial of service vulnerability. A bug introduced in Bitcoin Core version 0.14.0 and affecting all subsequent versions through to 0.16.2 will cause Bitcoin Core to crash when attempting to validate a block containing a transaction that attempts to spend the same input twice. Such blocks would be invalid and so can only be created by miners willing to lose the allowed income from having created a block, at least 12.5 Bitcoin or 80,000 US dollars. Patches for the master and 0.16 branches were submitted for public review yesterday and the 0.16.3 release has been tagged containing the patch and binaries will be available for download as soon as a sufficient number of well-known contributors have reproduced deterministic build. Probably later today, Tuesday. Immediately upgrade is highly recommended. Allocating time to test Bitcoin Core version 0.17 release candidate 4. Bitcoin Core will soon be uploading binaries for 0.17 release candidate 4, containing the same patch for the denial of service vulnerability described above. All testers of previous releases candidates should upgrade. Testing is greatly appreciated and can help ensure the quality of the final release. Preview review proposed BIP322 for generic message signing. This recently proposed BIP will allow users to create signed messages for all current used types of Bitcoin addresses, including pay to public key hash, pay to script hash, pay to script hash wrapped segregated witness, pay to witness public key hash, and pay to witness script hash. It has the potential to becoming an industry standard that will, that will be implemented by nearly all wallets and may be used by many services such as peer-to-peer -peer marketplaces as well as for customer support. So Optech encourages allocating some engineering time to ensure the proposal is compatible with your organization's needs. See the news section below for additional details. The Optech Paris Workshop November 12th till 13th. Member companies should send us an email to reserve spots for your engineers. Planned topics include a comparison of two methods for bumping transaction fees, discussion of partially signed Bitcoin transaction, BIP174, an introduction to output script descriptors, suggestions for Lightning Network wallet integration, and approaches to efficient coin selection including output consolidation. News, C Lightning version 0.6.1 was released. This minor update brings several improvements, including fewer stuck payments, better routing, fewer, fewer spurious closes, and several annoying bug fixes. The release announcement contains details and links to downloads. BIP322 generic signed messages format. Since 2011, users of many wallets have had the ability 
to sign an arbitrary message using the public key associated with a pay to public key hash address in their wallet. However, there is no standardized way for users to do the same thing with pay to script hash addresses or any of the different types of segregated witness addresses, although there are some implemented non-standard methods with limited functionality. Picking up on picking up a Bitcoin DEF mailing list discussion from several months ago, Carl Johann Alm proposed a bit that could work for any address, although it's not yet described how it would work for pay to script hash or pay to witness script hash addresses involving an op check lock time verify or op check sequence verify time limit. The basic mechanism is that the authorized spender or spenders of an address generate a script signature and witness data, including their signatures, in much the same way that they would have were they spending the funds. Except instead of signing the spending transaction, sign, they sign their arbitrary message instead, plus some predetermined extra data to ensure they can't be tricked into signing an actual transaction. The verifier software then validates this information the same way it would determine whether, sp whether a spending transaction was valid. This allows the messaging, the message signing facility to be exactly as flexible as Bitcoin script itself. Currently, discussion appears to be most active in the BIPs proposals pull request. Buster Bay discussion. A simplified alternative to the proposed pay to endpoint protocol described in newsletter eight. Buster Pay provides improved privacy for both spenders and receivers, and also allows receivers to accept payments without increasing the number of their spendable outputs, a form of automatic UTXO consolidation. Although proposed to the Bitcoin Dev mailing list a few weeks ago, several aspects of the proposal were discussed this week. Although pay to endpoint and bust -to pay could end up being implemented by only a few wallets and services, similar to the BIP70 payment protocol, there is also a chance they could end up being becoming a widely adopted as wallet support for BIP21 URI handles. Even if they don't see general adoption, their privacy advantage means they could end up well deployed among niche news users. In either case, it may be worth dedicating some engineering time towards tracking the proposal and proof of concept implementations to ensure your organization can easily adopt them if desirable. Notable commits. Notable commits this week in Bitcoin Core, LND, and C Lightning. Reminder new merges to Bitcoin Core are made to its master development branch and are unlikely to become part of the upcoming version 0.17 release. You'll probably have to wait until version 0.18 in about six months from now. Bitcoin Core merge, this pull request prevents the node from sending BIP61 peer-to-peer -peer protocol reject messages by default. These messages were implemented to make it easier for developers of lightweight clients to get feedback on connection and transaction relay problems. However, there is no requirement or way to require that nodes send a rejection message or an actual reject message so that the messages arguably only end up wasting bandwidth. It is recommended that developers connect their test clients to their own nodes and inspect their nodes log for error messages in case of problems, perhaps after enabling the debug logging. Users who still need to send reject messages can use the enable BIP61 configuration option, although it's possible that reject messages will be removed altogether in a release after version 0.18. Bitcoin Core, another Bitcoin Core merge, this long-standing issue tracked the removal of code in the LeBitcoin server component to handle whether the wallet is compiled or not. 
The issue was finally closed this week by merge of this Bitcoin Core pull request. This issue, along with a number of other issues, such as this Bitcoin Core merge, a refactor of separate wallet from nodes, and this Bitcoin Core merge, running all tests even if the wallet is not compiled, are part of a long-term effort to disentangle the wallet code from the server code. Doing so provides a number of benefits, including easier code maintenance, better opportunities for testing individual components, and potentially more secure software if the wallet component is moved to its own process. A LND merge, a configuration option intended only for testing, which is no encrypt wallet, has been renamed to no seed backup and been marked as depreciated and had its hell text updated and changed to mostly uppercase warning text. Developers are worried that ordinary users are enabling this option without realizing that it puts them only one failure away from permanently losing money. Another LND merge, thanks to the update to the upstream Tor daemon, this patch is possible for LND to automatically create and set up version 3 Onion services in addition to its existing version 2 automation. For the automation to work, users must already have Tor installed and running as a service. A seal lightning merge for testing an RPC proxy is now used to simplify marking response to various RPC calls, making it easier to test Lightning B's handling of things such as fee estimation and crashes of Bitcoin D. Peers, as always, subscribe to the Bitcoin Optech newsletter, which is a phenomenal wealth of resources. And as usual, thank you very much to the contributors of this great organization. Peers, thank you very much for joining me and see you on the next show. Bye bye.